Hey, this is Eran Stern, and today I will show you a quick method to create the famous invisible effect, very much like you remember from the movie The Predator. It's just my Predator model will be my brother Yuval. He owns a magic cape. When he cover himself with it, poof, he becomes invisible. By the way, this cape runs in our family for many generations. And every time one of us feels lonely, we use it in order to save the world. Now that you know the Stern's secret story, let me take you behind the scenes to get some fabric details. Okay, let me close this comp and drag the invisible cape.mov to the make new comp icon. You can see this is a video with an alpha channel. I already prepared it in order to save some time. And let's take a real quick view here. And you can see Yuval is really in love with his cape. He's doing some nice acrobatic with it and cover himself at the end. I just love it and I think Yuval is really doing a great work here. Okay, so let's stop the run preview and drag our background home.jpg. I will select the invisible cape layer and drag Yuval to the correct place in our scene. I think it needs to be between those two bushes. The secret for good displacement is to create the best display source that we can use in order to regenerate the effect. So first we need to create this layer that we will use as a displacement source. So in order to do it, select the invisible cape in the timeline, go to the edit menu and choose duplicate. Select one of the copies and let's pre-compose it by going to the layer menu and choose pre-compose. I will rename this layer displace source and make sure that open new composition is active. Now choose OK. I'll make sure the invisible cape layer is selected and let's just search for a better place so we can see the effects that we are about to add. And now let's go to effect, color correction and add the tint effect. This will of course generate a black and white image for us. Now go under effect again and choose stylize find edges. This will highlight the edge of the video that we are looking at. And in order to make it a little bit more ghosty, we'll go to Effect and under Blur and Sharpen, choose CC Vector Blur. Here we need to change the setting a bit. So in Type, let's choose Preprendicular. And in the Amount, we will change it to a value of 10 and in the map softness to a value of 30. This will generate a very nice displace source in order for the displacement map effect to work with. Now let's go one level up. It will return to our original timeline and we'll need to change the order of the layers. So let's make sure the displace source is in the middle. It's layer number two and we can shut the eye for it. Okay, now select the home.jpg layer and let's go under Effect, Distort and choose Displacement Map. If you're not sure about how this effect works, I urge you to go back and watch Aaron Rabinovich's three-part podcast, which explains in a great details all you need to know about it. Here I will just summarize and say that this effect uses one layer's pixels in order to distort another. So here in our case, we are distorting the back layer with the pixels that we just create in the displacement source comp. So let's choose the displacement map layers to be our displaced source and change the max horizontal to 10 and the max vertical displacement to 10 as well. We can see the result because the first layer is blocking our vision. So let's shut the eye for it. And if you want to get a sense of it, just scrub the timeline and you will see the distortion. Even better to create a quick ramp preview. And now you can see where we are going with this. This looks very nice, but we are missing few details. 
We'll bring these details back from the displacement source layer itself. So let's open the eye for it so we can see it. Select the layer, make sure you see the blend modes and then choose a different blend mode. Instead of normal, we will use overlay. Now this brings a lot of details back, but too much details. So let's hit T for opacity and reduce the opacity to 30%. Now, if we will generate a quick run preview, we can see that our image, our invisible Yuval image has got more definition to it, which definitely looks very nice. You can close the layer and now we need to create the effect going from visible to invisible. So let's do it really quickly. Let's solo our invisible cap layer and just look for the best place to create this effect. And I think that the minute that Yuval cover himself here will be the right place to start. So let's unsolo the layer and make sure you select it. And now let's go back to the effect menu and from the transition we will choose a linear wipe effect. So now let's change the wipe angle to 180 which will reveal this layer from top to bottom. And we'll change the feather value to 50, which will make it very easy and soft. Okay, so let's create a keyframe in the frame that we are here and just scrub a few frames until you see the cape is covering most of the body. Scrub the transition completion back to 100%. Looking in our RAM preview, we see that we've got it and our invisible cape is doing the job. The only thing that is missing here is that Yuval has no shadow on the grass. So we need to fake it really quick. So let's do it right now. Select the invisible cape layer and duplicate it. You can rename the copy shadow and go under effect, distort and choose CC slant. Mark the set color and it should be a black color by default. And in order to see this effect, we need to set this floor point. And this is the imaginary legs of Yuval, the point that they should be. So I will guess it's around here. And I will start to scrub the slant value. In my case, I think somewhere around minus 85. Now change the height value until you see the right perspective of your video or your background. And it looks very good to my eye. Anyway, we will need to improve it a little bit. So in the contains, let's look for blur and drag the fast blur effect and change the value of the blurriness to 5. Now we can collapse the fast blur and the linear wipe. You can also drag the linear wipe to be at the button because we need it to be the last effect in the stack. And the problem that I see here is that Yuval is moving. So we need to keyframe the floor values in order that the shadow will follow him correctly in our scene. So I will guess the first keyframe should be around here. So I will set the keyframe in the floor, move a couple of frames in my timeline and just adjust the floor until I see fit. And then another couple of keyframes and I will adjust it even further. So now we have a fake shadow that follows him until he becomes invisible. Now I will also suggest that you lower the opacity of the shadow. So select the layer, hit T and let's change it to 70% which integrates it very well. Now we need to take care of the last problem which is the fence that you need to make sure that it will block the shadow. So let's duplicate the home layer. Once you've done that, you can drag the home layer above the shadow layer and then choose the pen tool and just do a quick garbage mask in order to hide the place where the shadow and the fence meet. So the fence will be on top of him and it will just make more sense to the whole shot. Now before I let you go, I want to do another minor animation which will help to sell this shot even better. So for this to work, we need to make sure that the parent is active. If you don't see it, right click anywhere and make sure you see the parent and then select the whole layers. And let's make sure that the top layer is the parent of all the layers in our timeline. 
Now let's go to the first frame and hit F2 which will deselect all layers and reselect the invisible cape which is our first layer and press S to get the scale properties. Go to the place where your valves start to disappear around 4 seconds in my case and place a keyframe in the scale value and then at the end of the timeline we will change the value to 130 percent now select both keyframes hit f9 to get an easy ease curvy animation let's go to the beginning of the timeline we can hide the parent and even collapse a couple of more now we can move to full screen mode and let's view the result <music> See how quick and easy it was? Now if you want to be part of the Fantastic Four or maybe to participate in the famous Queen song, I'm the Invisible Man, you know how to do it. So go and do it, don't wait for me. I might be watching you with my magic cape, remember? So make sure to be creative. Until next time we meet, this is Ranstern for Creative Cow saying goodbye.